is here, and 2KN Sports is happy to bring it to you. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. Now, we'll look at Dallas's starting lineup. Daniel Gafford is out there with Washington. Then there's Derek Jones. Then there's Irving. And it's Doncic in at the point. And for the Celtics, we've got Brown. Derek White is out there with Holiday. Then there's Jason Tatum. And it's Brzingis in at the center position. Take a look at the Mavericks. Well, we know this is everything they've worked toward, Greg. Right? The adjustments in the offseason have really paid off. And it's a well-run organization from top to bottom. They know who they are. They play to their strengths. That's why they find themselves here with an opportunity to win it all in the NBA Finals. I like what you said. They know who they are. They play within those limits. You're right. They get the rebound. They kick out to Brown. A three-pointer, no good. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Knocked away. Stolen by Holiday. Here's Tatum. And the rejection by bounds. Gafford. Boston and that's ball. out of bounds. It was last touched by Gafford. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. It's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. Much more intense, more in your face. High energy plays like that one are winning plays. Outside Holiday. Over Irving. Well, Irving looking engaged and aggressive there, making an impact at the defensive end. Here's Washington. Porzingis with the block. That's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. Jones, the pass to Doncic. From deep three-point range, rebounded by the Celtics. And here comes Brown, leading the fast break. Good boy, did they need that one. Their first make in the five field goal attempts they've had. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, I was able to catch up with the Celtics head coach. His pregame speech wasn't much. He said his players didn't need it. They're pumped up enough as it is. The only thing he told them in kicking off these NBA Finals was, this is what you fought for all year. If you want it, go out and take it. we will see how they entered this series, Kevin. Back to you. Thank you, David. Now, Doncic, after Jalen Brown's three-pointer that didn't go. Here's Gafford. Nice D from Porzingis. Boy, they are frigid right now. I mean, failing to connect on their first four attempts. Here's Holiday. The kick out to Brown. Tatum looking around. And he drops it in from the low post. Tatum takes some contact but pushes through to get his shot. That's good aggressiveness there. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Anjic passes to Irving. Nails the wide open Irving, jump shot. Irving. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Brown outside. Ball's not loose. Holiday with the three, and it's sent back by Irving. Irving bringing a little more intensity to the defensive end there, using his speed Luka. to get ahead of that shot. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Tatum. Shoots over Washington. And there's the bucket from Tatum. Tatum's got his second bucket tonight. You know, with how good Tatum is driving, I think it's a smart play by Jason to take that shot because the defense is giving him room to do so. Here's Washington, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself shooting for Wiles. This early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And they now 
lead as the free throw drops for him. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Holiday still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And that's his second foul already. And that's going to force him to tone down his aggression defensively. Dallas has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Shoots. Pulled the shot a little up, but the bounce Doncic. goes his way. Doncic has got five. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. And Holiday kicks to Tatum. A three off the mark. And it's Jones with the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. From deep Washington. And it's White with the rebound. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this quarter. Man. Washington, that's for two. No good there. And the Celtics going the other way now. Brown outside. Pass to Persingas. Here's Holiday. Back to Brown. There's the three. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Yeah, but the defenders draped all over him. He just could not shake loose. Steps back and fires. Yeah, the defense of Doncic looking a lot better. I mean, when he works hard at that end of the floor, he can get up and block some shots, too. Not a lot of them, but he can block a few. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate Boston. easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. Over in the corner, Brown. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Holiday against Irving. And Tatum launches it from deep. I think Washington, because of his athleticism and length, can be an outstanding defender in this league. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. And stolen by White. And here comes White, leading the fast break. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Really uh, the right play defensively if you can block, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time and if they don't think about it at least they might be distracted by your presence Two shots. he misses the free throw and the vertical that Brown has is uh, quite impressive as relentless a finisher that you'll find in this league He hits the second from the line. The Mavericks leading. And here is Doncic. He's got five. And Gaffer throws it down. Doncic taking pride in setting the table for his teammates. I love his unselfishness. Outside Holiday. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Kyrie Irving. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. For Boston, they have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. At the line for the Celtics, Drew Holiday. At the line for two.
That free throw good from Drew Holiday. Holiday really is a soft-spoken guy on and off the court. Leads by example, is extremely reliable and talented, and his teammates have great respect for him because of it. Both free throws good from Holiday. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Irving up top, guarded by Holiday. Fires from the line. Irving misses. Austin trailing. Brown finds Holiday. Over Doncic. And good. Really? The friendly bounce on the right side of the rim. Confident shooting from Holiday there. Finds a shot he likes and sinks it. Even if it is the mid-range, which goes in the face of analytics these days. But I like that mid-range, Jay. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. We know you all want a t-shirt, everyone. We'll let me hear you get the one out. Ah! Suffolk's entertainment, let them hear it. Here's Doncic. Five points in the game. Outside, Jones. Back to Doncic. From deep, Washington. Good. And the assist goes to Washington. Doncic. Doncic has got three assists in the game. Jones against Brown. There's the triple. That will not drop. Still looking for his groove. He's one of six so far from the floor. You know, he looks a little off kilter to me this quarter. Still trying to find his rhythm. Washington against White. Fires for three. P.J. Washington, and that's good. Washington. Now it's a five-point Dallas lead. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooting. Here's Brown, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And Brown is a guy who is hunting contact. Defenders have to be more cautious around him when they're defending. In a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And I've really liked how they've moved the ball tonight. Because of this selfless approach, they are piling up the assists. And he knocks down the first one. And Brown drops them both. Here's Washington. Nine points in the game so far. Porzingis with the block. Hey, with that length, Porzingis is always a threat to block shots. I mean, when he matches that length with really good energy and awareness, he can be a good defender. Shot by Washington, and he's wide open. PJ Good, and Washington. the assist goes to Irving. Four, three. Washington's got 12 in the game. Celtics trail by six. Outside Holiday. Here's the floater. Round the pass to Holiday. Misses the three. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. You know, that's a trademark of his defense. Quick to react, close down the shooter, and then affect the shot. And Doncic gets it to go. Dutch. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Time called here. The Celtics decide Celtics. to talk it over. Horford comes in for Jalen Brown. Dallas also making some changes. Josh Green comes in for Jones. And Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for Irving. Now here is Horford. It's stolen by Green. And now it's Green running. He can go all the way. 
It's deflected. Outside Holiday. That one's not going to go. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game know. largely because he what? shot so poorly. Ball. It's Holiday with it. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Eight-point game. And play stops. The whistle on what looks to be an illegal uh, score. Yeah, three turnovers so know. far. And the real issue is the fact that they're unforced, too careless with the basketball. They've been out of sync since the opening tip. I mean, they've got to take better care of the ball. And the Mavericks with possession. They're on a 17-7 run. The three for Doncic. Hands it from downtown. Doncic. Doncic has got ten. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Jay Tatum gets the bucket. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays down. And again, the turnover by the Mavericks. Horford tried to free himself up. We've got 155 left in the first quarter of the game. Green bounce pass. And the dunk by Doncic. Excellent this all around performance so far. Hits the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Now here's Tatum. He's got six. Basket, good. Jason. He's got eight. Tatum knows how to score in the paint, folks. He can make any adjustment needed to find the shot that works for him. Here's Doncic, And that'll be Boston two free throws foul. coming up. Officials on the Third call with the foul. Day. First personal foul. This is his first Second trip to the line foul. tonight. At the line for the Mavericks. Luka Doncic taking two shots. off and the missed free throws starting to be an issue yeah they're scuffling at the line struggling is a better way to put it but you like the fact they're getting there now it's just a matter of knocking them down good on the second free throw Luka Doncic is a do-it-all player. I mean, he does everything for this team, including being a walking triple-double threat on a game-by-game -game basis. Tatum, a rebound by Washington. Washington's got his fifth rebound in this one. And Tatum pulls it down. This shot's just, it's not there right now with his team leading. Perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. 46 seconds left to play in the first. Holiday, the pass to White. Doncic feeling it out. Good. Doncic has got 15 points. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm, and he's really riding that wave right now. The three from Tatum. And the three ball is good. And really, the story this quarter has been just off charts doing all he can to bring him back. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Here's Washington. He's got 12. Shot clock at five. Pulls it up. Tries again. 
and he was able to put it up in time, but it doesn't fall. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. We've got more in store for you right after this. And it's to the floor right now. It's something entertainment. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Mavericks? Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Well, you know, the defense, guys, is just disruptive, active, and energetic, and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys. Mavericks leading by nine. On the court for Dallas here in the second. They've got Maxi Kleba. Kyrie Irving is out there with Tim Hardaway Jr. Then there's Derek Jones. And it's Gafford in at the five. And so Brown will bring it up for the Celtics. Here's Pritchard. That's tipped. Jones from outside. And it's good assisting on the play with Hardaway. Jones has got the opening field goal of the second quarter for Dallas. Here's Pritchard. He's covered by Irving. On loads, and it's Brown missing. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Brzingis trying to get free. And with that, the Maverick lead is cut down now to just 10 points with that basket from Brown. Hardaway passes to Kleba. Side, Jones pass to Irving. The pass to Kleba. Four on the shot clock. Porzingis with the block. The three. The Mavericks pull it in. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Pass to Kleba. Irving kicks to Kleba. A three ball. Porzingis with the block. And he recovers it. And can't hit the shot. But they're saying he got hit. So he'll end the free throw line. First personal foul. First team foul. The Mavericks shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Maxi Kleba. Two shots. First free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Pritchard. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Dallas and foul. there's the call on Kyrie, Kyrie Irving. Irving. That's his third, third foul of the game. Foul. First team foul. Here's Pritchard. Shoots. And it's Irving with the rebound. Mavericks leading by 12. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Tries it from 19. His shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. Irvin has the touch needed to do damage from just about anywhere, including from there. Here's Pritchard. Again, the miss by the Celtics. The Mavericks have gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far. Here's Irving, and that comes Irene off the assist Irving. by Jones. 
Assisted Eight points for Kyrie Irving. Jones uh, assists Jr. like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Porzingis can't hit. The Mavericks have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Here's Jones. Porzingis with the block. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected first defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just against his constitution. Austin shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Shoot two. The first one falls. He hits both from the strike. Here's Irving. He's got eight. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Here's Gafford. It's deflected. Here's Hauser. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Out of bounds. It'll be Maverick's ball. Mavericks ball. And so here is Dallas. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Time Dallas time calls out. timeout. Dallas. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of the timeout. It might be major, or it could be just a slight tweak. Here's Irving. Goes up off the inbound. He scores his fifth field goal. He's taken nine shots to get those five. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Brown with it. Pass to Persingas. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Persingas has got himself on the board with three there. I think you've got to run Porzingis off of his shots. I mean, you can't let him get comfortable because he'll knock him down. Irving passes to Kleba. Hands the shot with Maxine nobody near him. Kleba. Kleba's got four this quarter. Celtics trail by 15. Brown outside. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Kleba's got six rebounds here tonight. Hardaway finds Irving. From deep. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Richard passes to Brown. Here's Hauser. No points in the game yet for him. Passes it to Persingas. Up top, Brown. Six on the shot clock. Some nice ball movement here by the Celtics. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Really good to see Brown drop in the perimeter jump showing off his terrific stroke from beyond the arc. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's on Jalen Brown. Even from over here, you can see that one pretty clear. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. First one falls for no wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. 
One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. That one misses, so he goes one for two. You know, what comes to mind first when you think of Irving is his handles. Rush hour tight, but also his dynamic ability as a scorer. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. Here's Persingas. The Mavericks pull it in. Kleber's got eight rebounds in this game. Irving looking for an opening. Good for his eighth field goal. He's attempted a dozen shots. Well, you got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter, actually destroying the opponent. Jones against Brown. Over Jones. Brown. Good. Brown's got seven points here in this quarter. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. And there's the pass to Kleba. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. Kleba's got seven points. Boston. Yep, you know, after a scoreless first period, he's really turned it up a notch, building some momentum. And out call the Celtics. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. The Mavericks making a change here. They are Celtics Entertainment. Boston's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Holiday dishes Dwight. Back to Holiday. Inside, here's Horford. Misses the layup. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. Strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Holiday surveying the floor. Boston, no good that time either. Dallas has gone 4-7 on three-point shots in the second quarter. And it's Green missing. And so White will bring it up for Boston. He doesn't hit that one. Nice D from Doncic. And taken away by Brown. Horford trying to free himself up. Out to White. Three-pointer. A three-pointer is right on target. White's got his second basket of the night. He's got such outstanding vision for a big guy, and he's a willing passer. He knows the importance of keeping the ball moving. On the wing, Doncic. He's covered by Brown. And it's Doncic missing. Celtics trailed by 21. Brown outside. And it's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Nice touch by Doncic. Remains Boston ball. And the Mavericks with some changes. Washington's checked in for Maxi Kleba. And Kyrie Irving sent in for Hardaway. Brown outside. And they'll get another chance. Beyond the arc. And it's White missing. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And Irving with the basket Green, on the assist Irving. by Green. Green's got his third assist on the night. Brown outside. That doesn't go either for Brown. 
their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. And he hits Austin it and gets hacked down the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Personal foul. Really good control that time by Washington. Embraced the physical contact and then worked his way through. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. The Celtics making a switch here. Hauser's checked in. Boston shooting just 28%. They're offensively out of whack and out of step with each other at this point. Out to the right wing. Back to Holiday. Over Irving. And that one off the back of the rim. Holiday's got six. One of the more complete players in the league. Two Holiday with a nice jump. First half. Two minutes. There's 154 left in the second quarter. Dallas moving it around. Six to shoot. Irving misses. White looking around. He dishes it to Tatum. Outside Holiday. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Holiday's got five points now in the quarter. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Washington against Tatum. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And that's his fourth foul. And we're not even at halftime. That is going to limit his playing time and his aggressiveness the rest of the game. Boston on D. Back to Doncic. Let's it go from deep. Maybe that great start in the first quarter took something out of him because his production has fallen off. Holiday with the three. It doesn't go for him. And the Mavericks going the other way now. Green the best to Washington. Here's the three. Good on the triple. Josh Green. Boy, an excellent passer for a big man. P.J. Washington's floor awareness, impressive. Irving against Holiday. And he gets it to go. Holiday's got 11 points. If you give him an inch of space, he's going to make you pay. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Now, here's Washington. He's got 15. Just three to shoot. No good on the triple. And so a pretty lopsided game for the first half. It's Dallas delivering the blowout. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Coach Jason Kidd. Jason, how do you feel about your team's performance? I feel great. You know, we're sharing the ball, we're making extra pass, but we're attacking the pain. And if we can continue to do that, it puts us in a good seat. Jason, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And the NBA Finals action continues here on 2K Sports. Glad to have you with us on the Halftime Show. Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Ernie Johnson. For the Mavericks, they've taken this opening game by storm, playing championship-level ball on both ends of the floor. If the first half is any indication of what this series will be like, we may be in for a show. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Man, this was a brawl inside. Shaq, I know you like this. The guys were sacrificing their bodies, making plays through contests, just wearing the hard hat. That's how this game's gotten out of hand so far. 
And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? Well, they're not finding good shots, and that starts with their ball move. Too much hero basketball. We need to sharpen up the attack. More motion, quick cuts, get the ball inside. There's no way they're coming back with that type of play. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. Fans, time to make some noise for Boston's And it's time for more of the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. What a time of year. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game, he has been everywhere. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. We've got Holiday. Jason Tatum is out there with Porzingis. Then it's White, and it's Brown, and it's the small forward. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. The shot by Holiday, no good. Dallas leading by 22. Over in the corner, Doncic. Side Holiday to the inside. White, good. White's got his third basket of the night right there. I tell you what, he clearly is one of the best players in the league who does not get the same kind of gas that other guys do. But there's no better all-around guard in the NBA than Drew Holiday. And a wide-open look for Irving. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no cover. And Holiday kicks to White. Pass to Tatum. On deep. Rebounded by Gafford. Gafford's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Irving. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Irving's got 23 points. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for the Celtics. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. And it's sent back by Irving. That's one for their first four to start the second half. Yep, it counts. Jones, Jr. Jones has got his second Assisted. bucket of the night. Capable of running the offense. Johnson's fantastic at getting his teammates involved. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Outside, Brzingis. There's the lob to Brown. The pie has stuffed the alley. Oh, what an athlete this kid is. It's just fun watching him get up and throw it down. Stolen by Holiday. Jumps up, and Holiday throws it down. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stuff. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Celtics trailed by 20. You know, I think that's exactly the right attitude for White to have. Go at the defender head on and don't back away from the contest. This is his first free throw of the game. At the line, Derek White. At the line for two. And the first one drops. It didn't take long for White to distinguish himself in the league. He's a really good ball handler and he's got some good moves too. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Dallas leading by 18 and taken away by Brown. From downtown, 
sinks the three-pointer. Brown's got five points now in the quarter. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Took him no time at all on that one. Irving. And the Mavericks lead by 17. Boy, I tell you what, he's one of the best scorers in the game, and I love how Irving continues to be in attack mode. Fouled in the act of shooting, gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Second team foul. At the line, Kristaps Porzingis. At the line with one shot. That free throw good from Porzingis. And you know, when healthy, Porzingis is a problem, man. I mean, this guy is so hard to match up against because of his skill and his size. Here's Irving. He can't hit that job. Nice D from Porzingis. Holiday with the three. It's rebounded by Doncic. After hitting one three in the first half, he's been unable to dial in from deep since then. Irving up top, guarded by Holiday. Doncic from deep three-point land. It's hauled in by Persingas. Persingas has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Tatum down low. Gafford's there. And that one's good, Irving. Irving. Irving's got six in the quarter. Well, you got to mind your business around Irving when you've got the ball. He'll pick your pocket in no time. Tatum. It's rebounded by Dallas. Jones has got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Gafford. And Gafford throws it down. And can you always depend on him Jones or Jr. to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Holiday, the pass to White. And here is Brown. But Trey. Boston. No good that time either. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Out to Doncic. This one for three. The Mavericks rebound. Shots good by Gafford. Daniel. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Well, you know, that's the way it's going to be for them today, fellas. Can't sustain any momentum. Here's Tatum. Brzingis trying to get free. Tatum gets the bucket. Tatum's got 13. Outstanding work on the glass by Tatum, and quickly he turns the rebound into points. Now Washington, 15 points in the game. Outside Irving. Good on the three-point shot. Irving. Irving's got 30 points. And this is someone Boston. that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half. And he's doing it now. Now a timeout called by Boston. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. He just keeps hitting shot after shot. They need to design a way to deny him the basketball. Make someone else beat him. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for the Celtics. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And here's Brown outside. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it. But it's been good on a number of levels. Shot clock at six. From deep Washington. Another three Eugene for Dallas. Washington. Boy, he's a stretch three. four now with a dangerous outside shot. Washington loves letting that one fly from there. And the officials will call the illegal screen right three. there. And guys, the point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Here's Jones, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Derek White, second personal foul. 
first team foul. And a closer look here average. at the scoring breakdown Derek for the Mets. Jr. I'm in love Two with shots. how they're moving the basketball all game long and also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. The shooting's been great, but also how about the energy level? That's what's impressed me the most. They've been getting it up and down in transition, and that takes effort. And he makes the first. And so Jones nails both of them. Austin's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Here's Brown, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Third personal foul. He's made three of his four free throw attempts in the game. At the line for your Celtics, Jalen Brown. At the line for two shots. Free throw good from Brown. And Brown drops them both. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency is, you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. Yeah, it's good by Gafford. Not a Assist lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. The play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. White dishes to Holiday. Five on the clock, passes it to Brown. Brzingis trying to get free, and it's Brown that time, and the assist by Holiday. Brown's got ten points now, just in this quarter. On the wing, Doncic, fifteen points in the game. He had six points from long range in the first half, but nothing's falling here since. The shot by Holiday, no good. He's lost it in this quarter, no doubt about it. Nothing seems to be going for him. And Doncic gets it to go. Doncic. Doncic has got 17. Boy, what balance from Doncic. I mean, he never seems to get rattled, even when he attracts contact on the way to score. Maintains his poise in those situations extremely well for a young player. Mavericks and foul. the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luka Doncic. Doncic. First, That's his first foul. foul. Fourth team foul. Now it's on defense. Outside Holiday. Brown right side. Lock at six. For the three. Deflected by Jones. I don't bounds. And that's out of bounds. Boston will no retain possession. Substitution on the court. Here's Pritchard. And another miss by Boston. Dallas with the ball. They're on an 18-7 run. Green played in with a nice touch off Green. the glass. Green's got his second basket of the night. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Here's Brown. A shot missing. Now Dallas takes it the other way. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Boston yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken first, the initiative. They've played 
I think with more purpose so far. The Mavericks have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit eight of ten. Junior taking two shots. Shooting two. That free throw good from Hardaway. You know, I think we all know that Hardaway Jr. is a really good scorer. I mean, the next step for him is improving defensively. That one misses. Sonic shooting 33% for the night. That's a big thorn in their side right now. Here's Pritchard over Irving. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Outside Green. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Green. Irving's got three assists now in this one. Boy, his IQ is one of the best in the league. Irving has a great feel for when his teammates are open. Richard passes to Cornette. Here's Hauser. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Clock at four, and Orford wide open. He shoots. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Dallas shooting one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second. That's on Jalen Brown. Third team foul. For Dallas, they have been shooting right around 75% of the line. Nine of 12 so far. At the line for two. Washington's checked in for Dallas. Luka Doncic comes in for Kyrie Irving. And he's good on the second. And here's Holiday. He's got 13. Kicks to Horford. Two minutes remaining in the holiday with it. Two minutes. Tipped away. Stolen by Washington. Three on three. And here's Doncic from the arc. It's hauled in by Cornette. Well, most games he can knock it down from deep, but it just isn't there for him in this one. Foul on the shot, foul. so he'll get a chance at the Luka. line. Doncic. Hey, as Second. wide as a fighter now, foul. he's close inside. Team foul. He's committed to going aggressively to the, the rack. Line. And if he doesn't Derek. score, One. he at least is going to draw the at foul. The line for two shots. And the first one at the line is good. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Maverick shooting a stellar 60% since the halftime break. And it's Dungeon. Yeah, that Dungeon. time on the assist by Green. Assisted by Green's Josh got his Green. fourth assist in this one. Boston shooting 33% for the night. That's a big thorn in their side right now. Outside Holiday. 
to the middle. Here's Horford. A good finish at the rack oh, off the oh, slick oh, feet. From Horford's Jimmy got Holiday. his first points in this one. And that's Horford for you. I mean, that's what he does. He's a guy who brings toughness and great concentration to what he does in the paint. Doncic against Holiday. Fires the three. And Horford pulls it down. Horford's got four rebounds in this game. Launches a three. And Drew Holiday with the three. Holiday's got five points now in the quarter. Boy, sometimes Holiday makes it look so easy. Automatic, able to pull up on a moment's notice. The pass to Hardaway. Shoots over White. Hardaway, no good. The Celtics shooting approximately 43% in the third quarter. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Very aggressive move that time by White. Part of the reason he continues to gain the confidence of the coaching staff. Horford against Washington. Jacks up a three. The shot comes out. What a performance for Kyrie Irving. He has been the story for the Mavericks. And his big game just keeps getting bigger. That quarter sees him get over 30 points. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them. And what a beautiful feat. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. On the floor for Dallas. Maxi Kleba is out there with Green. Then there's Tim Hardaway Jr. Then there's Irving. Poked away. And oh, here we go with Green. Nobody back. And Green oh, slams Green. it in. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the emphatic stuff. Well, turning defense to offense. We talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Brown outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Pritchard. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Green's got his sixth rebound on the night. Down low. Here's Irving. Good. And it's Green picking up the assist. 32 points for Kyrie Irving. All Irving needs is just a little room to convert. And he's good to go. Brown outside. Ball movement by Boston. Here's Pritchard. And it's off from three-point range. To the paint. Here's Green. And no good. Here's the Celtics with the ball. Bowser the pass to Horford. Brown feeling out a bit. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. And on the way from Irving for three. It's good from Long Range. Irving. Irving's three got points. 14 points now in the second half. He's putting on a commanding performance here. He's hit two three-pointers in each half now. Brown outside. Over Hardaway. Boston. No good that time either. Not a bad look for him on that shot, but it just doesn't seem to be his night tonight. Up again. It's good on the putback. And that junior. bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle um, at their offensive end. Bowser the pass to Pritchard. Down low. Pass to Hauser. Back to Brown. Over Hardaway. Off the mark and the drop continues. 
and a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard Boston thus foul. far. Yes, yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've Personal asserted foul. their will and have taken control on the glass. Tatum, he's checked in for Luke Cornett. Then for the Mavericks, Jones checked in for Green. And Luka Doncic subbed in for Tim Hardaway Jr. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Driving to the basket. They get it back. Here's Hauser, guarded by Doncic. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First, yeah, the defender all first team foul. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far. Sam Hauser. At the line for two shots. Two. First free throw is good. He's off on the second. Here's Dallas. They're on a 12 to 1 run. He gets it in there. Irving. Irving's got 40 points. And, you know, they're looking good, really good right now because of him. He sees this game by the throat and he's squeezing hard. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Here's Hauser. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Doncic. It's on Luka Doncic. Wow. Wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. for two. And the first one at the line is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. They've played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Irving with the steal. And even three-on-three -three break. Doncic, no good. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Here's Tatum. To the left side wing. Let's the free fly. Pritchard gets the bucket. Hey, defenders already have a lot to worry about with Tatum scoring. When he's making passes like that, too, watch out. Here's Doncic. Chalk up two there. Two. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Now here's Tatum. up a three that shot no good now the Mavericks take it the other way outside Irving from the wing and Boston with the rebound Horford's got seven rebounds in the game broke loose here's Pritchard Here's Hauser. From outside, off the mark. Here's Jones. 
Good. And the assist Jerry goes to Dodgers. Jones Jr. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Here's Pritchard. He's covered by Irving. Here's Hauser. Again, the miss by the Celtics. For Dallas, they've gone 8 of 13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots to the inside. And he Number takes that two. one up and powers it through. Oh, why dunk you very much. He, he can really fly, and you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two points. A lot of bounce ability there, guys. I mean, well above the rim. That's what makes him dangerous. Here's Horford off with the layup. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. Here's Doncic, and that one is good. Doncic has got 21 in the game. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Tatum no good. Now the Mavericks with it. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Here's Irving, and it's sent back by Horford. Horford relentless as a defender in good position. That shot never had a chance. Kleba, no good. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. That one falls. Richards got five points now this quarter. You know, this has been a totally different half for him. He definitely looks more comfortable now, guys. Here's Doncic. Offensive rebound. Out left to the wing. Just four to shoot. Here's Irving. Knocks down the step back, Jay. Irving. Irving's got 42 in the game. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Pass to Hauser. Here's Pritchard. Takes a three. That one misses. Dallas has gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Irving. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got nine assists in the game. Great passing. The Celtics shooting at a 32% clip from the field. They're just not executing. Brown kicks to Horford. From the arc. Kyrie Irving with the rebound. Irving's got five rebounds tonight. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Second right there, Irving does a nice job of anticipating the contact, so he braces himself for it and then works through it. Shooting for Dallas, Kyrie Irving, two shots. And he makes the first. So both teams changing it up here. He's perfect from the line this time. And Boston has possession. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. Looking to end his cold spell and foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Number two. Well, Tatum is everything Second, you want in a star. Ball. I mean, he's a talented Third, player, ball. surely. But more importantly, I think, is he's humble and hungry. And he's deeply Jason invested Tatum. in the team's success. At line for two shots. And that one falls for Tatum. And some changes here for the Mavericks. Green comes in for Derek Jones. And it's Hardy in for Irving. And so Tatum nails them both. And so it's Dallas with it. 
And the foul on Drew Holiday. That'll be his second foul of the game. Fouling like that isn't how you get back in the game. Look to me like just a frustration foul. It really kind of sums up the game they're having in general. Now, here's Exum. Guarded close. And Green now, top of the key. And stolen by White. Defense is all about anticipation. And he had perfect anticipation on that pass and comes away with the steal. You know, White is a prideful defender now. Takes a lot of pride in that end of the floor. That's tipped. Now, Exum. Sweet little floater. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. And that one drops for him. And it's going to take more than that to stop Tatum. A wing who can score in so many different ways. White with it. Now defended by Exum. Here's Holiday. Dallas foul number two. Third personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for your Celtics. Shrew Holiday at the line for two shots. First one falls for him. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Mavericks. All three throws good from Drew Holiday. So it's the Mavericks now. Doncic outside. They get it again. Gafford. Daniel and he goes Gafford. right over Jalen Brown and slams it down. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a straight shot. Greg, he keeps so many game. possessions away, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Connects from three point range. Tatum aggressively looking for his shot now, preparing before the pass arrives. On the wing, Doncic. He's covered by Brown, and that one's good, Doncic. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Dallas has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. I'm sure this is exactly how they hope to start off this final series with a nice win here in game one for Dallas. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were so able to do more or less whatever one. they wanted. They're First certainly starting foul. the finals off on the right Fourth foot, and this will be a comfortable foul. win for them in game one. Shooting for yeah, this was a statement Kyrie game, and Irving what a time to make it. Shots. I'm sure it's going to get tougher for this group, but they won't be able to just run away with the championship. But tonight, they clearly established themselves as the stronger team early in this series. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Kyrie Irving. Boy, this game really had his name all over it. I mean, he relished being the guy to carry the load offensively. He's off on the first. And he sinks the second. 109 left to play in the final quarter. Passes to Brown. Outside, White. Outside, Brzingis. 
And again, Boston with the triple. Boy, how about the unlimited range that Porzingis is showing? Wow. Irving against Holiday. Now, here is Irving. Tight defense on him. Count that bucket. Irving's got 49 points in the game. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. Doncic outside. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. And Tatum the bucket on the assist by Holiday. Jason Tatum has so many different ways he can score, showing us a little solo spurt ability right there. And here is Washington. So no problem for Dallas as they get the win. A uh, pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. Thank you for coming up and sharing your And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two.